name is Trey Carfer, and I'm the Eastern Sales Rep for Emergency Reporting. And I'm here to talk about our recent integration with Google Maps. The Google Mapping feature is extremely powerful. There's a lot of key features that it are really powerful in the system that the Google Mapping feature brings to light. The first one is you're able to map all of your incidents in the system. We have a really powerful filter system that enables you to fully dial in whatever you want to see. So you're now able to paint a complete picture as to actually what's going on with all of your incidents. Imagine an intersection and imagine all of the accidents are actually really happening on the right turn lane of the specific incident. So all I need to do is simply hit check move and I can specifically move this. This actually happened exactly right here by the sidewalk and it's going to save that incident to specifically that exact location. So when all of those are being mapped, will be exact. The same exact time you're able to specifically pinpoint where your hydrants are. So you can map all your hydrants, we geocode everything in the system, but it only maps on the address. But then you're able to switch to satellite, you can be in the field with an iPad or an Android tab or your laptop and you can completely move the pin to exactly where the hydrant is and it will automatically be Latin longed. The system overlays all the hydrants based on your, your fire flow. So it's color coordinated on, on the NFPA standard. So you've got red and yellow and green and blue. Now you can see right here we have a problem because the, the hydrant that I plan on tapping into for this fire actually is out of order. So now I can actually call dispatch and let them know we need, a, I need a, an, another tanker truck or I just need more water. You know, the EMS ones are labeled in, you know, blue. With this icon, the fire ones are labeled red, and you can actually see what type. And if we had any others, they'd be labeled green. If I want to switch to satellite image, I just click this, and it switches to the satellite, and you can even zoom in on that. So one of the things I really love is you can come into the advanced search. So imagine you have thousands of incidents in the system. You can actually sort it by date range. So I could sort by zone. If I wanted to, I could actually also sort by a specific incident type. Okay, so if I want to see all 111 fires, so, and then I would just simply hit search, and it would take me back, back to this mapping view, or this grid view, and then I could just simply map that. If I come in here, and I've got my hydrants, I'm going to overlay my occupants. So if a customer has this vision risk assessment product, it'll assess the risk associated for an occupancy, depending upon however the community wants to assess the risk of an occupancy, which could be very between... Is it a historical building that has a lot of significant value? Or are a lot of them, you know, half the town is employed in this building and we don't want to lose it? So what I can do is, so this is a moderate risk. This one is a medium or low risk. Black means it hasn't been completed yet, but if it was high, it would be red. And I can switch to satellite view. And let's say, for example, this was a building down here that we'd assess the risk on and it's actually really, really high risk. Well, part of that reason, this building could be high risk, and my closest water hydrant is way over here. Well, I could take a snapshot of this and actually go to my city council and inform them, look, we got a problem, we have a high risk occupancy, I just want to bring this to your attention. 25% of the community works in this building, and our closest hydrant is half a mile away, or it's really flowing low, and we really ought to do something about that and make an investment that to protect that asset. So it's just a tool to help the community